What's going on everybody? This is Lag on Lock here and welcome to the BYU Cougars Dynasty here on NCAA 07 for the PSP. We are in week five, so you know we're doing pretty well. One and two record, you know, we can always bring it up. We just gotta win six games to be bowl eligible. Anyway, taking a look at the ESPN magazine for this week, fighting Irish shock the Wolverines and rivalry upset. And as you can see, Notre Dame defeated Michigan 45 to 25. Man, that sucks to be them. You know, Notre Dame, they were up 28-0 by the end of the first quarter. That's how good they are on this game. And then Michigan, they scored 17 in the second quarter, shutting out uh, Notre Dame in the second quarter. And then third quarter and fourth quarter, it was just back and forth. Well, except in the fourth quarter, Michigan didn't score. But anyway, the players of the game, we have Smith from the Fighting Irish. He had 16 carries for 84 yards and two touchdowns. And then for Michigan, they had Lake, who had 15 tackles, three of those tackles being for loss, a sack, and a forced fumble. So guys, in the last video, as you guys all know, we lost to Boston College 23 to 17. It was a close game. We were able to uh, force them to go into overtime, but you know, it is what it is, but we just couldn't pull away with the win. The players of the game, we have Wheeler, who went nine for 12 for 155 yards and three touchdowns. And then for us, we had Golden, who had four tackles, three of those tackles being for loss, two sacks, and a forced fumble. So now guys, taking a look at the end season recruiting board, Dominique Cook the free safety his interest level with us went down um, but he isn't really concerned about our program's prestige, which is pretty good to know. And also, you guys, I have him coming out to visit um, this week, actually, as we play Utah State. So maybe him coming out and seeing how well we play against Utah State will help us get that interest level up. So now, guys, we're going to take a look at the top 25 polls here. At number one, we have the USC Trojans, who defeated Nebraska 27-24. to At number two, we have the Miami Hurricanes, who beat Louisville 45-25. to At number Number three, we have the LSU Tigers who beat Arbor in 31 to 23. At number four, we have the Ohio State Buckeyes who beat Cincinnati 24 to 17. At number five, we have the Texas Longhorns who beat Rice 1911. At number six, we have the Tennessee Volunteers who beat the University of Florida 34 to 17. At number seven, we have the Louisville Cardinals as they uh, they lost to Miami 45 to 25. At number eight, we have the Boston College Eagles as they defeated us last week uh, 23 to 17. At number 9, we had the Michigan Wolverines as they lost to Notre Dame, 45 to 25 in an upset. At number 10, we have the Iowa Hawkeyes. They lost too. They got, <laughs> they lost to Iowa State. They lost 17 to 14. At number 11, we had the Boise State Broncos. They defeated Wyoming, 35 14. At number 12, we have the Virginia Cavaliers who beat uh, Western Michigan, uh, 28 to 0. I think that's what their team is. The Western Michigan, Western Michigan University. At number 13, we have the UTEP Miners. They had a bye week. Why ain't that something? They had a bye week and they went up five spots. That's crazy. At number 14, we have the Cal Golden Bears who beat Portland State 45 to 7. At number 15, we have the Auburn Tigers who lost to LSU 31-23. At number 16, we have the Georgia Bulldogs who defeated UAB 38-17. At number 17, we have the Florida uh, Florida State Seminoles as they lost to Clemson 22-0 in an upset. At number 18, we have the Virginia Tech Hoagies as they lost to Duke 20-17. Man, all these upsets. At number 19, we have the Florida Gators who lost to Tennessee 34-17. At number 20, we have the Arizona State Sun Devils who beat uh, Colorado University 2017. At number 21, we have Pitt as they beat Michigan State 28-25. Uh, at number 22, we have the Alabama Crimson Tide who are now ranked again after beating the University of uh, Louisiana Monroe 24-14. At number 23, we have the North Carolina State Wolfpack. They are now ranked after beating the University of Southern Miss 35-14. At number 24, we have uh, the Fighting Irish as they defeated Michigan 45-25. And last, we have the Colorado Buffaloes who lost to Arizona State 2017. Taking a look at the additional details here, we have Purdue, South Carolina, Clemson, Wisconsin, and Oregon. And the teams that were dropped out was number 12, Purdue, number 21, Texas A&M, and number 23, Utah. So now guys, we're going to take a look at our team information so far this year. Currently, we are one and 
two. Hopefully we can turn this losing streak around. You know, we only own a two game losing streak, but we don't want uh, <laughs> we don't want to go any further. Our next game, we are playing versus Utah State. And our last game, as you guys all know, we lost to Boston College 23-17. In terms of our injured players, we have crossed our free safety who's out for two weeks. Taking a look at our offensive leaders and passing, we have Dallas Johnson, who has 24 completions so far this year out of 49 attempts for 576 yards, four touchdowns, and three interceptions. And then for rushing, we have Session with 47 attempts for 158 yards, 3.4 average, four touchdowns, and 52.7 yards per game. Receiving, we have Bonet, our impact player, who has five receptions for 122 yards, averaging 24.4 per catch, zero touchdowns, and 40.7 yards per game. Taking a look at our defensive leaders, uh, we have Golden, who's leading in tackling with eight, and he's also leading in sacks with two. And then we have Jones, who's leading in interceptions with one. So this week, guys, we are playing the one and two Utah State Aggies. When it comes to their injured players, they have Blanks, their cornerback who's out for a week, and they have Franz, their wide receiver who's out for a week as well. In their last game, they were able to upset Utah 30 to 24. Man, that was a rivalry game too. So that's a big upset for Utah. In terms of their offensive leaders and passing, they have Young who has 45 completions out of 82 attempts for 468 yards, six touchdowns, and five interceptions. Rushing, they have Brown with 73 attempts for 300 yards, averaging 4.1. He has yet to score a touchdown this year and he has 100 yards per game receiving they have Suggs with 19 receptions for 212 yards averaging 11.2 he has three touchdowns so far this year and he gets 70.7 yards per game taking a look at their defensive leaders we have Davenport who's leading in tackles with 19 McDonald who's leading in sacks with three and Allen who's leading in interceptions with one so that's going to do it for the team information for the Utah State Aggies I'll see you guys out there on the field So here we are guys back at home to take on the Utah State Aggies in the battle for the beehive boot. It's going to be first and 10 at the 23 yard line. Young tosses it to Brown who tosses it back to Young and it's going to be a three yard pickup on that one. It's going to be second and seven and on second and seven now. Young steps back. Throws to Turner and Turner couldn't make the catch incomplete pass. That's going to lead to third and seven. And on third and seven now. Young steps back, tries to find a man open. See Suggs, Suggs makes the catch and he's brought down just a few yards shy of the first down. It's gonna be first and 10 now for BYU. Johnson hands off the session who gets tackled behind the line of scrimmage. It's gonna be a three yard loss. It's gonna be second and 13. Option play, toss it to session, juke move, breaks the defender and he gets dragged out of bounds. It's gonna be third and seven. Johnson rolls to his right, tries to find someone, sees Howe, and Howe couldn't make the catch three and out for BYU. It's going to be first and 10 for Utah State. Young hands off to Brown, no play action, throws it to Suggs, and he, I think he got, uh, oh, no, he actually made the catch. It's going to be second and three. I thought he was, I thought he was out of bounds. It's going to be second and three, and they're going to hand off to Brown, play action, and it's an incomplete pass. Third and three now. Young hands it off to Brown, who's trying to get a first down. He's trapped and he gets brought down. Three and out for Utah State. It's going to be first and 10 for BYU. Johnson steps back, throws it to Session, who makes the catch. Juke move and he gets brought down. A six yard pickup on that one. Johnson toss it to Session. Session is gone and he's tackled behind the line of scrimmage. It's going to be third and seven. Can we get the first down here? 
Johnson rolls to his left this time. Sees how. No, Session makes the catch one-handed, and he gets the first down. Good catch by Session on that play. Johnson rolls to his left. Sees Whitworth, and incomplete pass. He's going to be second and ten now, with only a minute left in the first quarter. Session has it. Juke move. He's cutting up field. Has a blocker. Gets the first down and more. Juke again, and he's brought down. Good run for Session on that one. It's going to be first and ten. Johnson hands off the session, and he's tackled behind the line of scrimmage. It's going to be second and 12 on a two-yard loss. Johnson rolls to his left. Sees Whitworth. Whitworth makes the catch, and that's going to be six for BYU. Good job for Whitworth, man. 19-yard touchdown pass. Look at this replay, guys. As you can see, Whitworth, man, he's doing amazing things this year, man. Every time I see him in the end zone, he's always making that catch for a touchdown. Not the catch I would have, the catching animation I would have done, but whatever, we still got the touchdown. It's going to be first and 10 now for Utah State. Young hands it off to Brown, and Brown gets brought down. It's going to be second and seven now. Three-yard pickup with only seven seconds to go in the first quarter. Young takes it for himself, and he gets tackled behind the line of scrimmage, and that's going to do it for the end of the first quarter with the score. BYU 7, Utah State 0. Now we're going to start the second quarter. It's third and 10. Young steps back. Tries to find someone. Throws it downfield. And it's an incomplete pass on that one. It's going to be first and 10 for BYU at the 45. Johnson hands it off the session. He gets brought down a three-yard pickup on that one. It's going to be second and seven. Johnson steps back, throws it across the middle, and Bonet makes the catch. Dangerous pass, but Zach Bonet was able to make the catch. Good job. First and ten now. Johnson rolls to his right. And he's going to take it for himself. He gets the first down and then runs out of bounds. Good play right there. First and ten now at the 24. Option play. Has plenty of space. No one's in front of him. And he fumbles the football. Ah, yeah. I don't know how you fumble. I tried to juke with Johnson, but he has one of the slowest juking animations in this game. And just like that, it's a turnover. First and 10 now for Utah State at the 14-yard line. Young steps back. Throws it, and an incomplete pass overthrown, and that's going to be second and 10. And on second and 10, they're going to hand off to Brown. Brown is trapped, and he gets the first down. I don't know what our defense was doing on that play. That's kind of crazy. First and 10. Young. Throws it, and that should have been intercepted. That should have been intercepted. He was trying to get a uh, go with the pat down, but whatever. It's second and one now. They're going to hand off to Brown. And Brown gets tackled behind the line of scrimmage by John Joyce. Good job. And right now, Utah State is 0-3 when it comes to third down conversions. Can they get their first? Oh, uh, they did. <laughs> they get their first first down off a of third down uh, conversion there. It's going to be first and 10. Young steps back. Throws. Intercepted? No, Williams couldn't get it. And now it's going to be second and 10. Second and 10 now. Young steps back. Throws it. Brown makes the catch. And no one can get him. And he gets the first down. Now it's going to be first to 10 at the 42-yard line. Can Utah State score before halftime? John Joyce brings down Brown. And it's going to be second and three. Young steps back, throws it across the middle. He's wide open, and Suggs makes the catch. And that's going to be first and 10. They're on the 13-yard line. Young steps back again, throws it short, and a complete pass. The wide receiver couldn't make the catch. It's going to be second and 10. Young steps back, throws it. Good pass, and they score a touchdown. Now it's going to be first and 10 for BYU with only a minute left in this one. Play action. Whitworth makes the catch, and that's going to be a first down for BYU. Johnson, play action again. He's going to get sacked, and I threw it away. Thank goodness. <laughs> it 
because I saw that uh, defensive lineman coming off the edge there. It's going to be second and 10. Johnson steps back. See session. He has a step. He makes the catch. And he gets brought down. Man, that defender just... Man, a big hit on session, man. <laughs> Third and 10. Johnson throws it downfield. Who's that open? It's Morris, but it's going to be fourth down. It's going to be first and 10 now for Utah State. Young throws it across the middle, and Turner makes the catch. It's going to be second and inches. They're going to rush their offense now. They only have 20 seconds left. Can they score? Play action. Throws it across the middle again, and Turner makes the catch. I don't know what the heck that was. My defender just fell on the ground, and now it's going to be first and 10 for Utah State with 14 seconds left to go. Young, play action again. Throws it. Suggs makes the catch, and Brown is able to bring him down, and it's going to be first and 10 at the 11 as he gets set to kick a field goal. And the kick is up, and the kick is good. And now Utah State, they're leading 10-7 at halftime. Ah, this is a crazy ri uh, ugh, rivalry game. I can never pronounce that correctly. I always mess up my words with that. But anyway, it's going to be first and 10 now to start off the third quarter. Toss play to session, and he gets tackled behind the line of scrimmage. Oh, come on, offensive line. I'm not going to lose three games in a row. We're not doing that. Second and 15, Johnson rolls to his left. He's going to take it for himself, and he slides. All right, good slide right there for Johnson. It's going to be third and four. Session has it. Juke move, and he gets brought down a yard shy of the first down. We're going to go three and out. It's going to be first and ten for Utah State. Young steps back, throws it, and Anderson makes the catch. But it's a fumble on the play, and Gold has it. Let's go. We're going to turn this game around after that fumble. I thought his knees hit the ground first, but I guess not. You can't challenge on this game. So it's going to be first and 10 now for BYU. Johnson rolls to his left. Sees Miller. Miller makes the catch. And that's going to be a first down. First and 10 at the 10-yard line. Option play. Throws it to Session. Session has it. And that's going to be a touchdown for BYU. Good play right there. Now, I thought that option play was going to be a fumble because Johnson was stuck, but we was able to score right there. Good job by Session. Now it's going to be first and 10 for Utah State. Young toss it to uh, Brown. And Brown gets tackled behind the line of scrimmage. It's going to be second and 12. Young, play action. Tosses it to Turner. Turner makes the catch, but Handy's able to bring him down. But hold up, guys. There is a flag down on the field. Let's see who it's on. And it's going to be offsides on Rutledge. It's going to be second and seven now for Utah State. Young steps back. Throws it. And Turner makes the one-handed catch. And he gets the first down. It's going to be first and ten now for Utah State. Man, this rivalry game is getting out of hand. Hands off to Ashley, their fullback. I didn't see that coming, but he gets the first down. Good job for Utah State. I mean, boo. Anyway, <laughs> I mean, it's going to be first and 10 for Utah State. Young steps back, throws it downfield, trying to go for it all. And it's an incomplete pass. It's going to be second and 10 now for Utah State. Young throws across the middle. Incomplete pass. It's going to be third and 10 now. They've been throwing it across the middle a lot in this game. Young, play action. Throws it downfield, trying to go for it all. And Anderson makes the catch, and it's a touchdown for Utah State. A 47-yard touchdown pass. I don't know what our cornerback was doing, but now it's going to be first and 10 for BYU. Session has it. Spin move. Tries to go upfield, and he's brought down. It's going to be second and 10. Johnson, play action, sees Whitworth, and that was a short pass, and now it's going to be third and 10. Johnson, rolls to his left, sees Howell, Howell makes the catch, first down, 
and he gets brought down. Good play right there as it, as it is the end of the third quarter with the score. Utah State 17, BYU 14. Can we win this game? We only have four minutes left. Session has it. And he gets brought down. A good play right there. Seven-yard pickup. It's going to be second and three. Johnson rolls to his left. Sees Morris. Morris makes the catch. Tries the stiff arm. And he's brought down. First down the play. It's going to be first and ten at the 43. Johnson. Throws it downfield to Whitworth. And Whitworth couldn't make the catch. I was counting on you to make that catch, sir. But now it's going to be second and ten. Johnson rolls to his left. Sees Thomas. Thomas makes the catch. Good play right there. It's going to be first and ten. Session has it. Juke move. And, you know, that was a good play. You know, he didn't get tackled behind the line of scrimmage. It's going to be second and seven. Johnson. Stop right there. And I get sacked. Man, now we're two and seven when it comes to third down conversion, so that's pretty bad. Johnson steps back, throws it to Hal. Hal makes the catch, and he can't get the first down. So now we're going to have to kick a field goal, a 24 yard field goal. And the kick is up, and the kick is good. Good job for BYU to tie this thing up with only two minutes left to go in this game. It's going to be first and 10 for Utah State. Young. Throws it to Johnson on a screenplay right there. And it's going to be second and nine. They're going to rush the offense. Young play action. Throws it. Nearly intercepted by Williams. Come on, man. I know you're celebrating, but you got to get those picks, man. Now it's going to be third down for uh, Utah State. Young steps back again. C Suggs. And it's going to be an incomplete pass. Good job. Now they're going to go uh, three and out, man. Good job for BYU. Now it's going to be first and ten. And we're going to have the session who gets tackled behind the line of scrimmage. It's going to be second and 11. Option play. Hands off the session. And whoa, he, take a big, he took a big hit on that one. It's going to be third and eight. Johnson throws it downfield, and Morris made the catch, but then he dropped it, taking a big hit. Ah, oh, boy, we needed that first down. But only 36 seconds left to go in this game. We have to punt it. Now it's going to be first and 10 for Utah State. Throws it across the middle, and thank goodness he didn't make the catch. It's going to be second and 10. We're only 24 seconds left to go in this game. Young. Throws it. And Joyce, you got to get the interception. Why are we batting it down? Try to get the interception next time. It's going to be third and ten. Young steps back. Throws it across the middle, and Turner catches it. And it's going to be a first down for Utah State with only 12 seconds left to go in this game as they use their first timeout of the half. Of the half, excuse me. Young steps back. Throws it to Suggs. Intercepted by John Joyce. Good job. We have six seconds left to go in this game, and John Joyce came up big to get that interception. Oh, man, we needed that pick. I was like, man, we cannot lose any more games. And this is a big game, too, because we're playing versus one of our rivals. First and 10 now. Johnson steps back. Rolls to his left. Sees Morris open. Slow motion. He makes the catch. And that's going to be first down at the 23 with only two seconds left to go in this game. All we had to do is kick a field goal. We got to light it up perfectly. A 40-yard kick. Can Clark get it? And the kick is up. And the kick is good. And BYU has won. We have broke our two-game losing streak. Good job for BYU. Good job for John Joyce for getting that pick so late in the game. And Marcus Morris for getting that intercept, um, not interception, for making that big time catch when we needed him to. Man, that was a good rivalry game. So now, guys, we're going to take a look at the player of the game. 
And here we have Dallas Johnson, our senior quarterback, who had a, who went 11 for 19 for 187 yards. He had a touchdown, four carries, and 30 yards, man. He did uh, pretty good today, you know, even though he had eight incomplete passes. But, you know, that one touchdown alone is good enough for me. So that's going to do it for the ball game, guys. We have just finished a number two classic game of all time. Man, it was a really tough game. But I'm glad we won. So guys, taking a look at the game stats, the score was 20 to 17. When it comes to first downs, we had 12, they had 11. Total offense, we had 264, they had 259. Rushing, uh, we rushed 18 times for 77 yards. They rushed eight times for 32 yards. In terms of passing, they completed 16 passes out of 29 attempts for two touchdowns as we were 11 for 19 and scored one touchdown. Utah State had 227 yards passing and then we had 187. When it comes to sacks, we got sacked one time. Third down conversions, Utah was three for seven. We were two for seven. We were in the red zone three times, scored twice, kicked one field goal. They were in the red zone two times, scored, and they kicked a field goal. When it comes to turnovers, they had two, we had one. Both teams fumbled the ball once and lost it, and Utah, they threw one interception. Total yards, Utah State had 348, we had 361. And then time possession, they had 713, we had 847. Now taking a look at individual stats, Dallas Johnson had a 157.9 QB rating. He had 11 completions out of 19 attempts for 187 yards, one touchdown, no interceptions thrown today, and a 57 completion percentage. Heading over to rushing, number six, Nate Sessions had 47 yards rushing, averaging 3.3 and scored one touchdown. Receiving wise, we have Nate Sessions who had two receptions for 26 yards. David Whitworth had two receptions for 29. Marcus Morris had two receptions for 44. Michael Howell had two receptions for 25. Gabe Thomas had one reception for 29. Corey Miller had one reception for 17. Man, we were throwing the ball all over the place today. And then we have Zach Bonet. He had one reception for 17. In terms of receiving touchdowns, David Whitworth, the sophomore redshirt wide receiver, was the only one to score a touchdown. Taking a look at our defense, Jason Brown, Joyce, McKinley, and Golden all had four tackles today. John Joyce led our team with tackles for loss with two. He did get an interception today. That was the game changer to help us win that one. Jason Brown was able to force a fumble today and Kenny Gold was able to recover it. So moving over to kicking, Robert Clark, he did amazing today. He did better than he did last game, but he made all his field goals today, going 100%, and his longest kick was a 40-yard field goal. So now, guys, we're going to take a look at the NCAA Players of the Week for Week 5. On offense, we have number 23, Freeman, the sophomore halfback out of FSU, as they were able to beat Rice 45-3. He had 37 carries for 200 yards, four touchdowns, three receptions, for 66 yards. Defensively, we have number five, Reed, the junior left outside linebacker from Mississippi State as they defeated uh, UAB 23 to 20 in overtime. He had 10 tackles, four of those tackles being for loss, two sacks, an interception, a forced fumble, and a fumble recovery. So now guys, taking a look at the Mountain West Conference Players of the Week for week five, we have number 22, Gordon, the sophomore redshirt halfback from San Diego State as they were able to defeat Utah 34 to 19. He had five receptions, for 87 yards, three touchdowns, 15 carries for 96 yards. And then defensively, we have number 55, Fry, the junior redshirt left end from the University of New Mexico as they lost to the UTEP Miners 42 to 21. But he had six tackles, four of those tackles being for loss, two sacks, a, a forced fumble, excuse me, and a fumble recovery. So guys, we were able to snap our losing streak. So now we're on a one game winning streak. I know two game loss isn't a big deal, but for me, it's a big deal because I didn't want that to go any further um but we play the tcu horn frogs they have a b plus overall a b plus offense and a b minus defense they are currently two and one this year and they're currently on a losing streak but as you can see they're number one in the nation and rushing defense so we have to be prepared for that i'm gonna to have to just throw the ball <laughs> like i did versus utah state but anyway guys that's gonna do it for this one if you like what you see and you'd like to see more please like comment and subscribe that helps me out a lot and as always Take care.